everybody from the plains of Kansas this is my dog Rumba she was a German uh, pedigreed uh, dog I bought in Germany I wanted a dog so bad I brought her back to the United States I'll leave it at that this is Susiana and little one, I would say in the prime of their life. Well, I think it's up at Bowman Lake. And this video is actually about uh, two cats. I've owned a fair amount of animals. I was raised around animals. I wanted to be a veterinarian. That was what I applied myself to be and it didn't work out. <laughs> This story is about Scaredy Cat and Ziggy Zag. I worked for the city of Folsom as a mechanic. Uh, midday break, and I we left, you know, and we went out. It was this very small shop, city of Folsom. And uh, I walked up to this garbage truck, and uh, the cabs to the left of me in the where they piled the trash, it was a packer. Anyway, I walk up and two black images race across and go underneath the cab. My first thought was rats, but it didn't look like to be rats. You know, the form and everything. I said, what the heck? I didn't want no rats climbing on me. I mean, I've had maggots fall on me, you know, working on garbage trucks. Oh, God dang, dude. Woo, don't hold your mouth open. That's all I've got to say. Just don't hold your mouth open, you know. So, anyway, here, to make a long story short, uh, I jacked the cab up and found them. It was two little kittens. And, I mean, they were little kittens. But they were feral, and somehow they wound up in this garbage truck. And I went and got my welding gloves, big old welding gloves I had since college, you know, American River College. And I scooped him up. I stuck one onto my jacket because his claws were out. And he just stuck right to my Folsom jacket. And I got the other and I walked him into the shop and I go, hey, dudes, uh, <laughs> we got these little kittens. I don't know what to do with them. And Paul... He took him under his wing when got him fixed, the shots and everything. And he had him in his garage, I think in a cage. Uh, maybe that's what he gave me. I already had one. I don't know. But he was telling us, you know, because I see him every day. He, you know, works in the shop. And uh, Paul was a welder. And, uh, you know, how are those kids doing? Crazy. You know, and he goes, oh, man, go out in the garage and they go, Phew. you know, one goes underneath the washer and, one, you know, you can't. I said, well, you know, I'll, I'll take them back. Maybe, maybe I can, you know, raise them to be, you know. So I had them in my garage and they were two, three, four months old then. I don't, you know, maybe. And I'd feed them every day and try to, and the one who I labeled scaredy cat, dude, immediately go to the other end of the big cage and the other one would kind of try to deal, you know, they're, you know, scared. But I had them a, a month or two, three, four, and finally, I decided, you know, I'd, I, well, prior to that, I'd let them out of the cage, and they'd go in the garage, and I'd find them, and, you know, they'd eventually wind up back in the cage, because they needed food and water, and that's where they go. <clears throat> well, the one I named Scaredy Cat, because she never came around, or, you know, they were both she's. And the other, I called Ziggy Zack, you know. Zigzag, because her tail, which was really long, they were black, long hair, 
and her tail was broken. Boop, 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 the whole length. You know, like <laughs> a deformity. I couldn't imagine somehow it got done like that. But I called her Ziggy Zag. And I had him out of the cage for quite a while, you know, as far as. And Scaredy Cat finally, you know, just disappeared. And I figured, well, you know. But Ziggy Zag was the most loving four, five, six months old kitten you'd ever seen. Everything that was alive, she would run to it and just love on it or whatever. It was crazy. Come home from work and boom, you know, like lay down in bed just for a second. Man, she'd come running, boom. Brrr, oh, Ziggy Zag. So they're both kittens. One's gone and I can't find her. I mean, you know. She's a feral cat. And then all of a sudden, Ziggy Zag disappeared. And I thought, oh, damn, 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 damn. So me and my significant other, you know, I, I talked to her about it. And I said, well, let's just go out and try, you know. It turned dark in two, three days. And I said, let's just go out with a flashlight and call for, you know, walk around the neighborhood. And we lift out our door, went to the right, and we were just walking out, and our neighbor came out. And I said, hey, partner, have you seen a little black cat? Da, da, da. And he goes, oh, dude, dude, yeah, a day or two ago, my dog. And he had a dog that was uh, not a Rottweiler, but like that size and one of the... Uh, Anyway, he goes, yeah, my dog killed him on the back porch. And I was like, oh. well, thank you. He said, I put him in the guard. I just grabbed my significant other and I walked back in the house because I was like, oh, damn, dude, 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 dude. I felt bad because I, I hadn't taught. I didn't know I needed to teach. It, it's about learning animals and such. Ziggy Zag didn't know to have fear of that dog. Michelle, my cat, 